Hey everybody, this is Scott Hanselman. Well, people really liked the video I did on how to use Microsoft Word, uh, specifically around tab stops and white space. I'm surprised that a lot of people did stuff, so that's cool. Uh, you asked for more, so I think I'm going to start doing regular how to use Office uh, secrets uh, videos. So I hope that you enjoy these. Here's one on an interesting problem that you may have had. This is about uh, landscape and portrait. So let's take a look at this very long uh, document here. And this is actually a pretty nice, well-organized document. I just found this online. Uh, this is a 13-page uh, AP art history exam. I'm zooming out here just to show you how long this document is. Okay. One problem that you might have occasionally, I'm going to make this show uh, two pa more than one page, is you might want to say, I want the first part of my document to be in portrait. Remember, portrait is like like a person's head up and down. And I want the second page to be in landscape. And then I want the third page to be in portrait. So this is kind of a common thing if you have a document and then you have a big picture that you want to in, in, inject there or perhaps a slide of some kind. And then you want the rest of it to be portrait. This document right now you can see is entirely in portrait. By the way, just to point out again, I am using holding down control with my left hand and I'm scrolling to get that and then when I let go you can see that it zooms in and out. Also you can click here on the view menu and say one page or multiple pages to get different views on your document even if you're at a low resolution like I am right now. So let's do this. First let's talk about breaks. Right here on section 2 a lot of people will find themselves going like this, enter, 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 enter. Not only does that potentially mess up things, you'll notice that when I did that, I injected an E in there, and then for a moment there I had a three, so I'm goofing up my bullets and numbering, which I will cover in another uh, episode. But enter, 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 enter does not work well, especially if I go and change the size of my fonts. What I really want there is a page break. So we're going to say insert page break. Okay. And then I'm going to go to home and turn on the paragraph marks and make sure that I don't have any extra paragraphs so that I don't get any extra bullets. You can only see page breaks when paragraph marks are on. Next thing that a lot of people don't know is notice this, this gap here, this space between these two pages. You can actually double click on that. Check it out. So I've double clicked on the space between two pages to hide and show the white space. So now my document looks more like a long continuous document. Just a little tip there for you. So I did that page break. So then I might want to say layout orientation landscape. Okay. However, this turned my entire document landscape now. It's all fallen apart. See? What I want is to go portrait, landscape, portrait. I'm going to go ahead and undo that. This page break is, in fact, not what I want. What I want is a section break. When I click over here, I don't see an option for that. You might be frustrated when you go to the insert menu thinking that there should be a section here with additional breaks. Well, breaks are a layout option. So you're going to find that under layouts, breaks. Here I can do page breaks, column breaks, where I, one column can go into another. I'll cover that in a columns video. I want a section break. Do I want to insert a section break and start on the next page? or start a section and keep going on the same page. Right now I'm going to do a next section break. So section break, next page. A section then allows me to have different layouts on a page by page basis. So now I can go to layout, orientation, landscape. I switch my entire document. Let's go down here now. Insert another break. Remember where that's located? Layout, section break, zoom out again, and now I'm going to take this page on the other side of the section break and say orientation portrait. 
So let's zoom out just to get a sense of the layout. Portrait, landscape, portrait. This is a section, this is a section, and this is a section. Now at this point, I might then remove my text and copy in my picture or my chart and graph or whatever I need to do. So that is a, a, the way that you do section breaks and use those for changing orientation, portrait, landscape, portrait, within a Word document. Uh, pl please feel free in the comments to put suggestions on other videos uh, that you want me to do. Uh, some people have requested references, put footnotes, endnotes, columns, tables, uh, table of contents, things like that. So uh, put them in the, uh, in the base there. So um, put them in the comments and I will uh, get right on it. I hope you enjoyed this and please do check out my other videos and subscribe to my channel.